a lot of people were asking me in my last video where's this hoodie from it's mine i made it um it's out of stock though you missed your chance if enough of you guys hit me up though i might restock it also i made these shorts too teaser this is a teaser these are coming out these will be the shorts of the summer full carson craning fit full carson craning fit what's good everybody it's carson craning back at it again with another youtube video Today we are doing another top 10 Gorp Core brands you need to know. Now before you go comment, I don't see Arcteryx on this list. I don't see North Face. Where are they? This is my second time making one of these videos. The first video, which I will link down below, has a lot of the brands you might be thinking of if you don't see it on this list. So just watch that video if you don't see your favorite brand instead of commenting. But these are the deep cuts right here. These are the ones that you might not know of, but you should know. But let's just get right into it. First off is Goldwyn. Started as a Japanese ski company in 1950, Goldwyn quickly became innovators of making not only some of the most advanced quality ski gear, but also some of the best looking. Today, Goldwyn does a lot more than just ski gear, but they make some of the best performance and outdoor gear you can get. It's a bit more low key, but they have some crazy awesome looking silhouettes and the materials are just top tier. I love Goldwyn. It's personally one of my favorites on this list. Their puffers, their rain jackets. To die for the silhouettes amazing next is mont bell mont bell answers the question of what if montclair was tasteful mont bell is a japanese brand which focuses on creating lightweight outdoors clothing they're known for their puffer down jackets which are very light and packable and this brand is actually becoming pretty popular in some circles just because of the high quality designs and the designs they put out there but i have to say they have one of the worst websites that i have ever seen in my life this is straight out of a 2011 ass website but for real check out them they make amazing jackets and a lot of other great light outdoor gear The 2016 Artsy Girl Backpack is on the list. Sorry for giving you guys some PTSD. I also did not like this period of time and want to forget it. I spent so much time in my life during this period trying to impress girls who had this backpack. But Fjall Raven, besides making these backpacks, actually makes amazing outdoor gear. Fjall Raven is the Swedish word for Arctic Fox, and it was founded in 1960. The brand's founder actually started making backpacks because he was on a hike, and he found that backpack he used was super uncomfortable. So he went to make his own backpack, and the rest is history. I think what makes this brand so unique compared to a lot of other Gorpcore brands is that this brand really incorporates Scandinavian design philosophy. There's a sort of playfulness to Scandinavian design, that you don't really see in an industry where American and Japanese design dominate. Also, this is a very functional brand. I had one of their parkas for years when I lived in Minnesota. Next is Outdoor Research. This is probably the craziest founding story of a brand I've heard. So it was founded in 1981 by a nuclear physicist, Ron Gregg, and he had been like a guy who was into climbing and mountain climbing. So Ron Gregg had been mountain climbing Mount Denali with his friend and his friend actually got frostbite really bad and had to be helicoptered off the mountain to safety and to go to the hospital. Denali is a huge mountain and it takes a lot of time, resources, and effort to climb it. Like you need to plan in a year for advance. And so when his friend got frostbite, this effectively ruined like a year of planning this trip for Ron. And so out of just being pissed off and angry about the fact that he had to effectively cancel his trip on this mountain he started outdoor research he never wanted another trip to be ruined by dare say their friend in a life-threatening emergency and so he started outdoor research to make sure this never happened <laughs> it is based in seattle so it has a special place in my heart but yeah definitely go check them out i love their rain gear it's really cool next is south 2 West 8. Founded in 2003, based in northern Japan, South 2 West 8 is a Japanese fishing gear company. They focus on a traditional method of Japanese fly fishing called Tenkara. They don't only make clothes, but they make a lot of fishing gear like waders, rods, the whole nine yards. But besides having really functional and great fishing gear, especially for fly fishing, they are extremely fashion forward and their designs have been loved by like streetwear fanatics for years as they're also carried in nepathines. So it's a really interesting brand that's very dedicated to fishing, but just has been adopted by a lot of streetwear people because the designs are so cool. C-A-Y-L. 
Founded in 2011 in Korea, C-A-Y-L stands for Climbing As You Love, making technical garments for hiking, climbing, and just general lifestyle use. They're best known for being one of the first technical brands to kind of come out of Korea. Korea right now, if you didn't know, has a bunch of wave of different technical design brands coming out of it. And this was one of the pioneers. While this brand definitely isn't as fashion forward as some of the brands it paved the way for, it's still very cool, very practical, and they just make some great hiking gear. Next is Filson. This is the oldest brand on the list. Filson was founded in 1897 in Seattle. It was originally an outdoor outfitting company for prospectors on their way to Alaska to go look for gold or whatever. And it's kind of one of the staple heritage outdoor gear brands. This definitely has a lot more of the classic designs and is definitely from a different wave of outdoor gear than the rest of the brands on this list. But if you're into more of the kind of classical, maybe old money, heritage style outdoor gear, this is definitely for you. Next is CP Company. Perhaps one of the most poorly named companies on this list. Founded in Italy in 1978, CP stands for Chester Perry. It was later changed to CP Company. When the brand was started, they were known for their very unique method that they invented of sort of new techniques around revolutionizing garment dyeing and the dyeing process when it comes to a garment. They were also known for experimenting with new fabrics and using silhouettes influenced by military, workwear, and outdoor clothing. CP Company has made a name for itself just with kind of its creative innovation. They're definitely known for their out-of-the-box thinking. Like for example, their goggle jacket, which is very strange looking, but oftentimes even with their more out there designs, there's a lot of practical thinking behind it and technical innovations. They're really on the cutting edge and they're probably not only the most experimental, but the most cutting edge brand on this list. Nanamika. This is the coolest company whose logo is unironically in papyrus. Nanamika is a Japanese brand which names means House of the Seven Seas. It was founded by Aikiro Homa. Homa originally worked for Goldwyn when Goldwyn was the licensed manufacturer of North Face and Helly Hansen in Japan. And Homa worked on both of these teams designing garments for both of these labels. And after years of designing for North Face Purple Label and Helly Hansen, Homa decided in 2003 he would branch off and create his own brand, Nanamika, which is after his love for sailing. It's sort of a Japanese take on old money sailing aesthetics and that kind of gear. So it's a little bit more classical in a way, but it has a lot of the premium materials and technical skills that you see from a lot of other Gorpcore companies. And of course, with that Japanese flavor and Japanese style of design. Definitely one of the more unique ones on this list, and maybe not 100% Gorpcore, but very Gorpcore adjacent and worth talking about. Last but not least, we have Hoka. Hoka was founded in 2009 in France, and they are running shoes with this extra cushion. Originally founded by two ex-Salomon employees. Salomon is a brand I talk about in my other video. But these shoes were designed to make you run faster downhill, um, down a mountain. They're pretty much trail running shoes, especially for going down a mountain and getting faster. And besides the aforementioned Salomon, this is probably the second most popular uh, shoe brand in Gorpcore. And you probably have also heard about them because marathon lovers love them. They're really popular in the gym scene. People really love Hoka's because of their extra cushion, but they also have some great design shoes. There's a few of them, especially for hiking that I love. Anyway, that's my video. If you didn't hear your favorite brand, don't comment. Don't comment. Watch the other video. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. My name is Carson Craning. Follow me on Instagram if you like any of these designs. Full Carson Craning fit. Full Carson Craning fit. I hope you learned something and have a wonderful day.